First off, congrats on that debut. Thanks, That's got to be about as sweet as it could be out there, huh? Yeah, man, it felt good. Uh, yeah, just doing my thing, just being myself, you know. And if you could have your way, you know, you got two fights from what it sounded like out there from one one fight camp. If it happened like yeah. that, you take that at any time. Oh man, I would take that any day, especially when the UFC calls, you know. Well, tell me about when you got that call. I mean, how excited were you? I mean, did you feel that your life had been building up? To, did you know it was just a matter of time? I knew it was a matter of time. I definitely didn't think it was going to happen that quick. Um, or or at, in January of 2018, I thought it'd take me a couple more fights. Um, but actually, I fought for LFA last last week. Five minutes before I can even get my hand wraps off after the fight, uh, they called, and I'm not going to say no, so here we are today. I dig it. Yeah. And I noticed the tattoo of the, of yeah. the, of the boxing. So obviously uh -huh. boxing's a big big part of your life, and I think we saw that there with the hands. Yeah. Did, you, did you realize you, you outstruck him three to one out there? Oh, did I? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, striking's my thing, man. I think that boxing is probably the most beautiful combat sport that there is. I like mixed martial arts, but uh, uh, as a... Uh, an art, I think box, boxing is the most beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I had a good kickboxing career as, a, as an amateur too. I've won a world title and a, and a North American title. So uh, yeah, that's my thing. I think it's beautiful. And I just try to try to make it as pretty as I can. And I think a lot of that showed you were coming at some, some odd angles off mm -hmm. the side, not really staying in front of your opponent. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, was that part of the game plan? Was to, to, to stay off to the side and kind of work your angles? Or what was the game plan coming in for this? Uh, I guess it was a little bit more of the game plan. I always work angles. I knew that he was long, and I knew that he threw a lot of straight shots. So staying on the outside of the shoulders was going to keep me safe. Um, I think that I work angles about as good as anyone in the game. Uh, that's my thing. That's my specialty. Um, I keep my head on the outside of the shoulders. I fight a safe fight, and I, and I pick them apart as, as I go. And I know you said that you visualized this moment yeah, happening, but yeah. th were there any nerves? And, and, and tell me that feeling when you finally walk, got to walk out there to the cage. Uh, it was beautiful, man. It was a beautiful moment. I really, uh, it, I mean, I'll remember that to, for the rest of my life. Um, it felt like a, like every other fight, but it was, uh, it was special, man. It was my first UFC fight. Well, that's good. Well, what what things do you uh, hope for 2018? Um, get a few more fights in. I think maybe, I don't know, I'll talk to my coaches. I just take it one day at a time, man. My ultimate goal is just to be the best mixed martial artist that I can be. Um, I'll let the wins and the, and the fights come along as my journey towards that comes. And I heard you joking, but here's your chance for that call out. Who, who you want, who you want <laughs> next? I, I don't care, man. I don't care. I'm, I'm at the bottom of the, the pool right now. You know, I'll take, I'll take whoever. Um, I'll, I'll get to the top eventually. I'm just going to take it one day at a time.